Welcome to Game Soup. This, this episode's been a long time coming. This is Game Soup Plays Atari Games, where what we do is we play Atari games and we judge them as if they were developed in 2017. <laughs> you, know how on, you know how on Game Soup we try to elevate games to the to a higher level. We consider games to be the game. Video games are our our favorite art form. Both Ed and I. Right. We love video games and we we think that uh, they they are the future of art at least for the next few years and you know yeah we uh, we respect the history of games. I clicked on, right through it. But on this episode, we're not going to be doing that. We are not going to be respectful in the least, and we are going to be judging Atari games as if they were developed in 2017, and why? Why would you do this? Why, you might ask. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you the reason why, because it's fucking funny. Alright, let's I'm, check out another game, Kaboom Sucks. Yeah. This game is called Carotid Artery. No, this is called Junior Pac-Man. I, I suggested Karate, but Ed suggested uh, Junior Pac-Man, and Pac-Man was never good on the Atari. Let's talk about... Extremely disappointing. Let's talk about the original. This is Junior Pac-Man. This is Junior Pac-Man. What's the diff? So, uh, he's wearing a little uh, beanie on his head. Cause Cause and it spins! Look at it spinning! Does it? Yeah, the, the pixels move... Why did you die there? I, did, I didn't do it do on the purpose. Do the pack pills not last very long in this? Uh, I don't know. They're called pack pills, by the way. Whoops. Can I just point out... Um, you know, in my second grade classroom, there was a a book about Pac-Man on the bookshelf. Really? Yeah, it was a oh. it was a story about Pac-Man, Baby Pac, and Ms. Pac-Man. Their son was named Baby Pac. <laughs> All right, so this sucks. Let's do another one. This is bad. Can we do another one? Yeah. I don't want to play fucking Atari. Why it's, would I want to play a fucking Atari game? Select starting score. How about a thousand? How about a ten million? Yeah, millipede. How this about is, a billion? This is a, this is a really, really great translate. Why was there a millipede and a centipede? Can I... Riddle me that. I'll tell you a story, Joe. Yeah? When I was a kid, this is actually true today as well. When I was a kid, there was a pizza place around the corner. It's still around the corner for me. That, um... Has this in in a sit down table arcade, you know, like where a table machine? Yeah, there's a ta where there's two seats yeah. on either side, and you yep. sit down. And yeah, you I've look. seen I've seen those before. Do you know where I'm talking about? It's a pizzeria I... near us. It's not the the. Cl is it is it uh, Charlie's? Pop? It's Charlie's. Oh yeah, okay. It's Charlie's. I hope they seizures. I hope they still have it there. But I I played a lot of this game. In the arcade. I remember renting it for the NES. You rented it? And I wasn't disappointed. It was actually Centipede for the NES. What's but, the difference? Uh, Millipede is the ripoff version of Centipede. For those of you that don't know. Seizures. Alright, fuck this. This is shit. Let's everybody try knows, another one. Everybody knows what Let's this try is. try another one. I've never, never heard of this one. The look Minds at, of Minos. Look at my legs. <laughs> look at my legs. Look at my leggy legs. Alright, alright. Just see if you can scroll. Maybe you can scroll down to, the, to another screen. Oh, we're dancing a happy jig. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the what hovering it, sound. Let's see. What if that was the whole game? Aha! Whoa. What is that? It's a mine. You move very quickly along the uh, the X axis, but not very quickly along the Y axis. Yeah, it seems reasonable. I don't know what that is. I think it's a trap. Why? Yeah, it'll get him. Suck it, it worked! Nerd. Wow, that alien sucked it. <laughs> so. I'm assuming this game is played with the analog stick and the paddle, right? Or not the paddle. Oh, that just teleported you immediately over. Oh, you, you wouldn't think even go that, in. You would think that there would be like an animation for no. that. You would see the character move oh, it's, in. It's but, a yeah, power I mean, pellet. I guess that's got to be a power pellet. Drop a. Yeah. Oh, man, these guys don't stand a chance against your traps. That's my DB. This might be the best Atari game I've ever seen. It actually has. What? It still kills you if you. if it, Even if it's in the middle of dying. Uh, I think that's it. I think it's game over. It turned red, so that must mean game over. Okay. Are we gonna actually try again? Yes. Wow. I don't think this has ever happened. Look at the misaligned pixels on the right side there. You see that? Look at, look at where I'm standing. Now, how did you come across your Atari 2600? Because uh, I remember when we were kids, you had an Atari 2600. I still have it. It's downstairs. <laughs> I, I got it at a yard sale where I got most of my things. Yeah. I got it at a yard sale. I still have an Atari 2600 and a bunch of games, including Kaboom! The actual cartridge. It's downstairs. We're playing it right now. Uh, that's what we were playing earlier. Yo! So. Hey, hey, suck my D. Yeah. <laughs> I, we could actually hook it up, but... Miss Piggy's wedding. 
<laughs> Prototype 2. I'm sure it's finished. I'm so sorry. What? Is this a game? All right, let's let's see here. I apologize. On oh, is that is that uh, Grover at the top? Oh, that was easy. Come here, Kermit. I think it's Grover at the top. Come here, Kermit. Give me a kiss. Wait. Oh, you have to get the key. Wait. This game is half platformer, half top down. Is that the end? I can't move. We did it. We won. <gasps> You've won the game. You've beaten the. That can't be it. Completed. Are these cars? Oh, you just have to keep. Wait. I think I just get hit by a car and you die instantly, I think. Let's test. Nope, that's not true. Here, watch. All right, we got the key. Wait, what? Come here. Give me that key. Come here, Kermie. You seem to be invulnerable. You do seem to be invulnerable. Uh... That's, a th that's the thing with these Atari games. You need the instructions. Yes, you do. All right, wait. We don't need this key. And that's it. That's the whole game. I'm the best. Oh, I saw this one earlier. It's called a mysterious thing. I have the hiccups. I know exactly what's happening here. No one can tell. Is he in his undies? Is that a is that supposed to be a pink man in his undies? Whoa, it controls not terribly. We should play um Custer's Last Stand. Oh I've, yeah, I've Custer's, never... Custer's Revenge, you mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you played it? Because I've never played it. Uh, I don't think so. I think I might have just seen seen like a screenshot or a video or something. I mean, it is iconic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's well known. It's well respected, I thought you were going to say. Yeah, yeah, well, and respected. It's one of the most uh... well... It's one of the most well respected, well known, and incredible, incredibly great g gameplay games in the history of gaming. <laughs> yeah, that happened. That happened. We're that gonna judge this game based on 2017 standards, so I give it an F. Wait, is this a a Donkey Kong ripoff or something? I don't no. know what this is. No, I guess. Oh, I touched the guy in the window and it kills you. Yeah, if you touch any of those white blocks in the window, it kills you. That makes sense. Mondo Pong. Oops. <laughs> you clicked on it. You gotta try it. No, it's Mogul Maniac. Mondo Maniac. Hi. Is it a skiing game? Is this 3D? Is this in three dimensions? No. Is this in three dimensions? This can't be in three dimensions. Start. If if, if if those slaylums start moving towards... Holy shit. Did you say slaylums? Yeah, slaylum. You know, like you have to... You know what a slaylum is, right? Slalom. Sl what? <laughs> <laughs> is it called a slalom or a slalom? I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, I mean, it is 3D, sort of, but... How do you not go slow? I think this is actually invigorating. <laughs> you think this is invigorating? I don't know I mean, how to I, I would describe. I would describe it in that in that manner. I think Dark Souls is invigorating. Wow. I'm having a blast. Also, the right holding on on the right analog right side of the analog stick makes you go left, and left makes you go right. Just flip it upside down. I don't, I don't want to put that much effort into playing Atari games. Oh my! Joe has the hiccups. Christ! We speeding up. We speedy now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> We've been playing this for a minute and a half. So this is kind of this. I have a, I have a very vivid mem memory of Ed and I. Yeah. In his childhood bedroom, when he had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred hooked up to an old old timey televi television. And I remember, he had about 30 or 40 games, and I remember playing every single one of them in about an hour. <laughs> and They're terrible. every time we finished one of the games, we would just throw it across the room and laugh. <laughs> <They're> all... <laughs> we were completely disrespect we're disrespectful towards the Atari 2600, which we are still today. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing has changed, but these games are so primitive, they're almost unplayable. They suck. Mousetrap, I guarantee it. It's the craziest trap. Do you think it's based on the board game of the same name? I guarantee it. It cannot... It's a Pac-Man clone. It's just a Pac-Man clone. Whoa! <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! It's Wait, just a Pac-Man. You're, you're not supposed to touch cats. You're a mouse. I thought I had a... Look, I'm, a, I'm clearly a dog, though. Hey, get over yourself. You're a mouse. I thought I had a power pellet, though. Yeah, that X. Wait, am I just trapped? I'm just trapped in here. No, you're not. Just just go up. Just sneak past this, the cat. <laughs> Cats aren't very... Cats are not very... 
attentive. What are those? Oh, you use them, and now I'm a dog. Oh, okay, so the button. Wait, uh, no, you're not a dog anymore. You turned into a mouse. I didn't do it fast. You turned into a okay. Jerry. This game has an interesting. Wait, I can't move. This game has an interesting mechanic. These X's, these giant X's, they turn you into a dog when you press the button. So you get to choose. This is a Pac-Man clone that gives you some choice. Some choice. <laughs> Speaking of Jerry. <laughs> Uh, Jerry? I mean, we're not gonna cover that right now. We can. Let's play a different game, though. Do you wanna play? You play a little bit. We mainly just need to talk about fucking, um... Atari. Atari games, yeah. We need to talk about, uh, Rainbow Bright right now. Is that what this, this is? This is Strawberry Shortcake. Strawberry Shortcake. In fact, I have... Did I already say this? I have a copy of this game in my basement right now. Yeah. About, th about what, 50 feet below us? It's probably worth a fortune. A f Lime chip, look how many fucking fingers she has. <laughs> <laughs> they they rendered every fucking <sighs> finger. Jesus Christ. Rule number one in game design, don't render all the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was a good ditty. This is... <laughs> this is <laughs> look at it. Is that a mustache? It is. On a man? This is the whole game? Oh my god! This isn't a game. This is. A... That's the whole game. No, this isn't the whole game. This is a character select screen. No. Okay, let's get to the game. Come on, guys. Can we see Huckleberry Pick? Let's get this game going. I'm what? all out of credits or something. Insert a quarter. I think that's it. I think that's the end of the game. Press the button. No, no, no. There we go. Well, let me just say, fans of Strawberry Shortcake will be massively satisfied by this title. <laughs> Does not disappoint. Suicide Mission. I was just gonna say I, I wanted to try Super Ferrari, but oh yeah, no, Suicide Mission sounds fun. Yeah, by you know, Ar Arcadia. Just, just fucking play Suicide Mission. Probably one of the most well-known developers out there right now. And let me just say this: I hope you never go on a suicide mission in your life. I don't intend to. All right. Good. It's asteroids. Well, you know, press the button. There you go. They turn into worms, though. Oh, it's one. so loud, though. No, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> also, you know the Ar the Atari doesn't have a pause button? No, sir. It only has a stick and a uh, red button, which is exactly what we're using. We are somehow recording this. I don't even know how you would go about recording an Atari game from a legitimate Atari. Uh, I don't know, actually. Probably a capture card. Just... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the the analog stick is way too sensitive. Yeah, this this is this is making the Atari games even more unplayable than they normally would be. There's no dead zone. Oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, this is this is an, I've seen enough. What were you gonna say? Let's play Super Super Cobra. Super Box. <laughs> it's Super Crate, but oh, it's a boxing oh, game. Oh, Super Crate Box. One player. Hey, you wanna play? I'll try. I'll try. You're gonna I be play? Macho Man. Oh, I can move. Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah, okay, I'll be Macho Man. He's green. He looks. He's looking a little under the weather here. There's looks... one button. It's called the hug button. Come here, baby. I want to give you a hug. Oh, you son of a. You I love son of a you. Bitch. Stay away from me. I'm sick. You're looking can't, a little sick. Can't you can't you see that I'm I'm uh, I'm in pain right now. You're looking a little sickly there, Joe. I'm in pain. How Why would the... you do this to Macho Man? How come all the best games are boxing games for Super Nintendo called Chavez? Yeah. Well, we've never played Chavez before, but I imagine that it would have to be incredible if we did. No, we actually made, recorded an episode called Chavez in the winter of 2015. Yeah, winter we've, of 2015, and we've been holding that episode back. We've been sitting on that one for decades. We know, we know it's a classic. Yeah, it's... Holy crap, it's been over a fifth of a decade. Maybe it, we should just release it, it someday. Was, it was a very exciting game to play. Shouldn't we just release it? This is awful. This is the worst boxing game I've ever experienced. Really? What about... What about Title Fight? I never played Title Fight. That was the one that was the arcade one where you had the joysticks, and each oh. one each one was one of your your hands. And you yeah. just you just did this over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember how you used to play it. You used oh. to just you used to just mash it forward. When you, I was, you would just jab with both hands repeatedly. I was an autistic chimpanzee when I was a child. Well, that's not entirely inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs>
What's this? Super football pussy style. <laughs> that sounds like a that sounds like a winner. All right, we'll do that no. one. Or Super Ferrari. You want to play Super Ferrari? I wanted to play Super so Ferrari. I'm gonna, yeah. Here, why don't you play? Uh, okay. If you insist on me playing Super Ferrari, I guess I'll give Super Ferrari a Whoa, chance. Whoa! Look at that odometer. Oh, you hold. Okay, you, you press the button to go. This is fucking three dimensional. This is like F. This is fucking F zero. You know the Atari. This is the second game we've seen today that had some pseudo three D effects. I crashed. This is actually kind of good. Is it playable? This is... I would put this in the playable category. It's kind of good. We started this episode as, uh, you know, to make fun of Atari games. Oh, we're still going to continue to do that. And to completely disrespect them, but this is... This is this is actually... I mean, I'm having fun. This is this is actually a game. This might be the best Atari game I've ever played. Better than, <laughs> better than Fission. It's nothing. It's nothing. But it... What's Fission? We played Fission before. I remember. Well, I remember from our my fond memory of us throwing Atari cartridges around your bedroom <laughs> when we were children, and I remember um, Fission being the only game that we found to be reasonably entertaining. What's Fission? It held our it held our attention for over four minutes. Four minutes. We'll, That's pretty generous. We'll play it next after that pussy game. <laughs> All right. What is um? It looks like. I mean. This is, uh... Is this it? This is it. This is it. Yeah, I mean, this is it. This is the game. Where are the cutscenes? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, this is the I whole mean, game. I yeah. want to hear the, uh... Oh, come on, are you fucking serious here? You know, I'm pretty sure the Atari had some very primitive voice acting. In, like, one or two very yeah, yeah, rare yeah, exceptions. Yeah, yeah, it, it did. It did. Do you remember very what garbled. games they were? Uh, yeah, Barbie. Really? Yep. Because even the NES... How do I know this? Yeah, Because I played the Barbie game? No, I know it because I saw the episode of JonTron where JonTron played the Barbie oh. game. So we're not going to be playing the Barbie game because we're not we're not going to hack off JonTron here. Plus we have beef with him. We hate him. We think he stinks. What? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, we do have beef with him, but you no. know, not le you know, we don't actually hate him. We once shared a steak with him. That's the extent to which our beef goes. Get it? Get it? He doesn't live that far. I think he was in no. New York or New Jersey. Are you what really? Yeah. JonTron. Well, New York is pretty big though, Joe. Mm. I don't think we'll ever find him. We are stalking him, but I don't think we'll ever find him. Oh, come on. That okay, was this cheap. Is ri that this, was cheap. This is ridiculous. Does the race ever fucking end? I mean, no. how, many cars are, <laughs> how many cars are in this race, and why are we so much faster than all the other cars? Wait, what is this counter down here for? It says 91, 90... Oh, that's your place. You're passing cars. That's Wait, what you're really? crashing I mean, into? fucking 90th place? There are, there are over 100 fucking cars in this race? I thought these were stationary uh, traps. They're actually other people. <laughs> They're actually cars. Oh, no, they're not stationary traps. Yeah, those are cars. You didn't realize that? Do you blame me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, what? you're in 80th place. Is the goal just to get in first place as quickly as you can or something? Probably. You've gone 81 miles. Wow, look at that Look at that um, skyline it, it on the horizon. Like, it looks like a Ferrari, though, doesn't it? <laughs> what? It looks like a Ferrari? Yeah, the, the cars do. This is, I mean... Are you joking? I mean, I'm bored as fuck, because it's 2017 and we're playing Atari 2600 games, but I, as far, like, I, I would have played this, like, if this is all there was for video games. I guess. Probably would have spent a lot more time outside if this was if this was all we had. Thank God. Atari. Thank God for spending time inside. What's the fucking beeping sound? It's annoying me. You gotta guess. Oh, uh, I don't see any pit stops anywhere. No. This is an Al Unser Jr.'s Turbo Racing, where it has really cool pit stop animations. Oh. What happened? You arbitrarily died. Yeah, the, the driver just dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's we it. Did, we didn't run out of gas. Oh no, we can keep going. No. No, you can't. Why not? That's it. Oh, that's the end of the game. Alright, that was the best Atari game I've ever played. Oh god. Okay, we gotta play uh, Super Football Pussy Style. Let's I hope check that one out. Right. Is it two? I think it's two players. Oh yeah, it is. Here, you take All this right. one away. Take it away. Bake them away, toys. Um, oh, so a button switches characters. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh, it's scr hey, it's football, otherwise known as it's, soccer. It's football, pussy style. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Wait, that's hey, you son of a bitch. Come back oh, here with my... Okay, okay. 
Oh, the one that's lightened Wait, is the one I... that you're oh, controlling. Oh, but I can't move farther down than... Oh, oh, that's... Come here. Okay, I get this. I'm going to win. I'm going to win so hard. This is actually not bad. Mm, I would kind of beg to differ, but... So right. this is Blades of Steel before Blades of Steel was even a, even a thing. Right? Remember? Blades of Steel. So, the one button in this game, all it does is toggle between one of three players. I wonder if we can get in a fight. Hey! Let's try to fight. Let's try to fight. Okay. I don't think it'll work, though, my man. Wait, come on. Wait. Uh, oh, come down here. Can you steal the ball from me? Yeah. I don't think you no, can. you can't even steal the ball. You can't even steal you the ball. You can't steal. What kind Wait, of a game? Uh, you did that. I, I did. didn't do that. Okay. So you, you can steal the ball. Here, let me try to steal from you. No. I'm faster than you. Yeah, because I'm kicking a ball along. I, I still can't steal I'm from you, I'm kicking a ball along. <laughs> okay, I think we've seen enough. Yeah. Uh, tapeworm. <laughs> tapeworm. <laughs> yeah, we had to play tapeworm. Oh my god, there are so many games. Wait, I thought it was called tapeworm. Oh, Spanky! They're, they're naming the names of the tapeworms. This is One a Pac-Man. Spanky. This is a Pac-Man clone. Beaky. Yeah, this is a fucking Pac-Man clone. All right. Let's bet. I will bet you any arbitrary number of dollars that this is a Pac-Man clone. All right. Uh, I'll bet you $550 that it's not. Slink. Okay, we've had okay. enough of knowing the names of fucking... Is it Snake? Oh, it's a Snake game. Hey, you owe me $550. Yes. Because it's not a Pac-Man clone. It's a Snake game clone. All right. Wait, is it actually Snake, though? It is Snake. I didn't know Snake was around. Snake's old. Is it? When the first time I played Snake game was Serpent for a Game Boy. In the 90s, I guess? Yeah. Okay, that is ear grating. Yeah, it's not too Wait, good. What was the first Snake game? Is there an original Snake? There has I think, to be. I think it was called Snake Game. Really? Yeah. For what system? Um. Because this is a knockoff called Tapeworm. Atari 2600. Isn't that messed up? Yeah, they're leeching off of the design of another game, and it's called Tapeworm. Like a tapeworm. It's fucking ironic. Yeah, we should play another one. This is, I mean, it was a fucking snake game. You know what it is. Tapper, that's root beer tapper. Is it? Yeah. It's by Sega. By Service, Sega? Service Games. Yeah, it's fucking... I've heard of that company. Yeah, it's fucking... It's, it's root beer tapper. This is actually... What do you do? You try to repel these evil men? What? Well, they're not evil. They're just drunkards. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You just repel them? Yeah, you need to serve them the, the root beer. You, yeah, you're not doing it right. You gotta serve them one beer. One beer per. But they're thirsty. Okay. Yeah, serve this guy a beer. Serve this guy a beer. Yeah, you, you run out of beers. No, you gotta catch that one. You oh! broke the glass. You broke the glass. You don't understand how tapper works. A root beer tapper works at all, do you? So wait. You gotta press up twice. Press A. There you go. Now there what? There you go. Now you press A there. There you go. You did it. I did it! Oh, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened... Wait. Yeah, you gotta press it twice. Okay. Two beers there, because there's two guys. Two beers there. Two guys. Two beers. Two guys. There you go. You're getting the hang of root beer. Hang of root beer? But what's the game? Where's the game part of it? This is it. When does it get fun? Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Atari 2600 game. It doesn't get fun. It gets sexy, but not fun. Oh, yeah, this what? Is the, this is the upgrade screen. What's he doing? This game has upgrades. What is happening? Whoa! Choose prisoner. <laughs> 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 look at look at the advertisement. <laughs> look at the advertisement in the background. Mountain Boo. <laughs> no, it says Mountain Dew. No, it says Mountain Boo. Whoa! He, he picked automatically and it shot soda in his face. Oh, he has Parkinson's. Did you see his hand jiggling? <laughs> oh, now we're doing it from the Yeah, left. now we're doing it at a park. Some of these are, are women. You can see they have a ponytail. I think that's where we're serving some women. If you downvoted this video, let us know why. Wait, I have to <laughs> I think we know why. You gotta catch those. I did. When they throw the cup back at you, you gotta catch it. Gotta catch friend. them all. Yeah. I mean, this is basic. This is it. The root beer tapper. It's all right. I'm not impressed. It's not the worst game for the Atari. This is actually probably the third best game for the Atari that I've seen. Ferrari, what was it? Super Ferrari was probably the best. Is the best Atari game I've ever seen. Want we'll to try something else? Fishing number two. This is number three. Let's play fishing. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's play some fishing. I think it's only one player though. So you want to play? No, just fucking play it. Who cares? Nobody cares to play fishing. 
<laughs> Nobody cares to play fishing. Uh, uh, I, t- I I did put a warning at the beginning of this episode that we that we were going to be very. De- it was fishing derby, fishing derby, not oh. tw- not thirty two and one. It's got to be fishing derby. There it is. Oh, is, is it? It might be two players. Is I, it? I don't know. You sure might have, looks to, like you might have it. to toggle two players on. Yep, yeah, it's your. Oh, I remember this game. Yeah, you gotta catch the fish, but then the shark might eat your fish on the way up. This game is not fun. N- no, but it's more playable than most of the Atari games. So you just press up and down to control the yeah the and depth of your rod. Yeah, your rod. That's it, right? Your line, your fishing line. That's now all the, you do. This fishing line is a whole pixel wide, and it's an Atari twenty six hundred pixel. It's pretty fucking wide. This is not... Hey, how the fuck oh. are you winning? I caught a lot of fish. Okay, so the shark prevents you from collecting the points from the fish. The, the shark Correct. eats the fish. Correct. The That's shark. It. The shark steals your points. And you know, you can't stop reeling. Can you stop reeling, green guy? I'm the, the green guy, by the way. Yeah, I'm fucking losing <laughs> by a lot. So, yeah, the only control there is in this game is to move left and right. I guess this is well, a paddle you, game. You, you can move left and you can move up and down. You move. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. But that's look true. how long. I wonder how long the rod gets. I wonder if I could poke you with it. No, I can't. This is as far as I can go. <laughs> he can't move it towards me. I guess. I guess. Oh. So anyway, this is one of the more playable Atari games. Sorry, right. and actually, now it sucks. All right. Well, it's not bad though. It's 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 holding our attention for less time than it did as children. So let's do another one. Oh, Gremlins! Gremlins! We gotta play oh. Gremlins because uh, I. We have a Steemit account now. <laughs> there was a guy on on Steemit who did like a, a little mini review of this, and I told him we'd play it on this episode. So uh, uh, if you're that guy, what? Know, shout outs. This is Gremlins. I know this. I, this is from the movie. Mm. Are you sure? Wow, it's like I'm watching the movie. It's like I'm in the action. Why am I an old man? Are you are you the old man that sold the Gremlin to the guy? I don't know what I am. Am I catching Gremlins? So let's uh, describe how Gremlins 2 for NES plays. Let's talk about that game and how good it is. It's a great game. Oh, I can shoot them. Well, these are the evil Gremlins. So you're trying to save the little Gremlins, but these ones, these ones are hatching. There's no gizmo. I do not see a gizmo. I think the previous level was the, the gizmo type of guys. The Mogwais. Mogwai. These are the Gremlins. Am I a shirtless old man? Oh my god, look how fast it is. <laughs> This game gets fast. Am I a shirtless old man? That's kind of what it looks like. So again, this actually doesn't look unplayable. We gotta start playing some worse games. This is not unplayable, actually. But it's... Why does it get so fast? So quickly. It gets so fast, so it fast. Get, it would get boring, though. If you played this over and over again, you'd be wanting it to get fast quick. Yeah, but not this it's, fast. It's so boring. I'm just saying, like... Man, can you imagine? I mean, what would you do? Like, this is not... What would I do? If... Yeah, if you were in the in the 80s and you wanted to play video games, you, you know, didn't. You don't have Steam. There were no video games. You in don't the have 80s. Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why. That's why no one played video games. Come here. Oh, he just punched you. He just knocked you out. Oh, well, now we're doing this again. Great. Looks like it kind of just goes back and forth between this. Why do they turn into heads of lettuce? Do you see that? Yeah, I see that. What? Those are uh, those are gremlin seeds. They are. Yeah. Is there a fail state here? What's happening? I don't really understand. Like, I... Okay, I know what's happening, If you but miss too many of those, they'll turn into those green things. The bottom fills up, then they get that burger... Oh, they eat the burger because it's after midnight. If they eat the food at the bottom, it becomes after midnight, and then you have to kill them because they turn into gremlins. It's oh. the story of gremlins, don't you know? <laughs> it's very abstract in this game. It's a little bit abstracted, yeah. I, I, are we on the moon and there's a lake on the moon? It seems that way. It, yeah. It... If one of these gets to the bottom, he'll punch you to the side. I died. He'll just shift you to the side. Oh my god, look how fast it is. Uh, it's a little bit of becoming unwieldy. You yeah, know, you did it. You did it. They didn't get to the hamburgers. You know, I think every Atari game is meant to be played for less than three minutes. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're not meant to be a, a long-term source of enjoyment. You, you really need to find something fulfilling to do in your life in crazy. the 80s. 2017, you can just play video games, and, and there's plenty of fulfillment in playing video games. Didn't Atari games cost a lot of money? Yeah, they cost eighty dollars. Can you imagine paying eighty dollars for a game no, that is I, fun I for three I, minutes? No, they couldn't. Oh. They couldn't have cost eighty dollars. They I might know, have. I just, made up a, I just made up a number. I mean, the the industry did crash for a while. I didn't die. Yeah, it did until in the NES when the like video games were looked at as a fad. I believe so. In the early eighties, and then in the 
After NES came out, it kind of saved it all. Everybody had the NES. The NES dominated the uh, late 80s and early 90s. That's all I know from that song. Play Ikari Warriors? I think... Wait, uh, we gotta play Ikari Warriors. Uh, I think... Where is it? Well... Yeah, there it is. Oh. 1990! Are you kidding wow. me? Wow! Are you kidding me? There were still Atari games coming out in 1990? Wow. I, uh, feel bad. Oh, well, it it's, looks like a really shitty Akari Warriors. And let me tell you something about Akari Warriors. It was shitty. It's bad. I like, just died. Even for NES, it was shit. One of the lesser uh, wargaming simula war game simulations. So the NES launched in what, 1986 or something? Uh, Earlier than that. 83, even. I think, yeah. 83? This is 83 in the US. Famicom might have been earlier. Uh, I don't know. I'm a bug. It's a, yeah, it's a bug. We'll, we'll just say bug. We'll go with bug. 19. Can you imagine? This was like. What was this? this, this, this 30 is 19, years ago. This is 1990. Do you know what came out the year after this? What? Super Mario World! <laughs> <laughs> you know what came out three years before this? Super Mario 3, right? No, Super Mario was in 90, 1990, I believe. Or 89? No, you it was just, 90. You just said that, um. Oh. I think Super Mario World was 91 and no. Mario Bros. 3 was 90. Yeah. No. Yeah. Are you sure? No. Okay, either way, the point stands. All right, yeah. The, the, the point. Ikari Warriors is garbage. This is You ridiculous. know it, I know it. All right. Remember the time we played um, CJ's Elephant Adventure? Yeah, it was the shit. It was bad. What does SSMB3 stand for? You meant SSB. <laughs> SSB. SSB. 1988! Wait, really? 1988. 88? Holy crap. No, North America, 90. North oh, America okay. 90. There yep. you go. But still, as the same year as Ikari Warriors for the Atari 2600. Yeah, and that's unacceptable. Shame. How much longer do we have to do this episode? Oh, I guess we're done now, huh? Okay.